We call that a strategy and a strategic thought process or a strategic decision making process. And then we had a quick look at the strategic variables and we had a dichotomy of flow versus a stock and is used in literature and practice a great deal. Um, what I'd like to share with you now is a couple of types of games within a game theoretic concept. Game theory is a science of a strategy. We don't need to delve into uh, the depth of game theory. There are specialists and there are specialist courses that you might like to have a look at. But we would like to draw upon game theory, particularly with respect of two types of games, which later on become more relevant to the business context. Now, within the game theory, you can have a host of different parameters and facts that it's outside our immediate uh, focus. For instance, um, you know, the payoff structure, the zero-sum games, positive-sum games, negative-sum games, um, you know, the Nash equilibrium, uh, and a host of other relevant uh, factors. What we like to do here is to really, for the purpose of our applied uh, ideas here, to, to, to define two types of games within these um, types that are at a higher level, which are more applicable two types of the business and the theoretical foundations we're going to build. One type of the game, let's call it coordination game. This has been covered by literature in many uh, different fields. Coordination game is a game that we play often in our lives, including business, on a daily basis. What does it mean? A coordination game is when two players decide to take an asymmetric positioning with respect to each other in order to form a rapid solution to the game at a lower transaction cost, which I'll get back to. What does that mean? Let's say, uh, let's use the famous examples people use. Well, let's say we are on a telephone line, on a mobile phone, and the line drops. And I want to contact you, and you want to contact me. At the same time, we are calling each other. So obviously, there is engaged. Then we say, I better wait for the other person. We're both waiting. Then we say, oh, he must be or she must be waiting for me. So we call again, engage. You see how suboptimal it is? However, if prior to this event, we have got an agreement, the two players, that if the line drops, I wait, you call. Immediately, the game is resolved efficiently. Connections made again. And there's myriads of examples. For instance, in, in the traffic, in vehicle, vehicle or traffic, in all countries, traffic coming this way is on one side of the road, and traffic going that way is on the other side of the road. Some countries are this way, right? drive left hand drive, but nevertheless, we have decided to take asymmetric positioning with respect to each other because that resolves the situation much more effectively than the old days when at the beginning of the horse and cart, we were all running like this. Traffic lights are the same. You wait, I go. You go, I wait. Organizational structure is the same. Hierarchy. Asymmetric positioning. Coordination games are played with intuitive thought process. Well, the literature, uh, uh, the Nobel Prize winners have said that the fast thinking, intuitive thinking, flow variables, asymmetric positioning resolves the coordination game. We will come back to this axiom of fast thinking, flow variables, coordination games, later modules tomorrow. For the purpose of this, please consider this type of game theoretic concept. Coordination game is resolved by asymmetric positioning of the players. There's another category of games which are very different. They, are, they sound the same, but they're very different. Cooperative games. Cooperative games, as you, many of you know, the famous example of it is the prisoner dilemma. Very difficult to solve. In fact, most of the times they don't get resolved. That's why uh, police in interrogators often use this methodology to break the cooperation between two prisoners, and hence the definition prisoner's dil dilemma. You can look at that. This type of game is very difficult to resolve. Otherwise, people wouldn't put rubbish in the streets for someone else to clean it. Every day we'll see it, the, the failure of the cooperative game. On the two conditions, it gets resolved. One is a massive change in the payoff structure of the players. Gangsters use that often. Cooperate, or we, do, we harm you. That kind of thing is not systematically replicable. Or the only time that it gets resolved is if the game gets iterated, 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 and played. The outcome of a resolution of a cooperative game 
is a stock variable. The flow variables used in the coordination game over a period, played and played, iterated, can resolve a cooperative game and create a stock variable. Trust is an outcome of a cooperative game. If I trust you and you trust me, what does that mean? It means that I can say with a high degree of certainty, 99%, your response to a certain signal when I'm not present. Or you can do the same thing with me. Couples are like that. After a long period of time, they trust each other. What does that mean? It means that they can predict each other's behavior towards a signal when they're not present. How did that happen? Because they been together for a long time. People meet beginning, the first day, they say, well, I can't trust you. What does that mean? He said, I haven't it played the game with you. I don't know how you're going to play. Cooperative game gets resolved primarily as a result of iteration of the game. A brand name comes out of a stock variable as a result of consistency, repeated use of a consumer, of a product, trusting in it. Stock variable comes up. So therefore, for the purpose of this module here, in applying our previous concepts of flow versus a stock variables and a strategic decision making, please consider two types of games. Co coordination games, asymmetric positioning, cooperative games, repetition of the game to resolve. Coordination game, we'll see that they're more, more applicable to about 60-70% of our activities in business and life. They're required to be played with the flow variables in order to create conditions, quite rare conditions, however, present to resolve a cooperative game and create a stock variable. And what will happen is that the transaction cost of our activities within our business or life reduces. Transaction cost economic is a large body of literature by very prominent scholars in the past. But essentially says, in our theoretical standpoint, the resolution of coordination game reduces one level of transaction cost, and iteration of these games can create cooperative game resolutions that considerably reduces the transaction cost as a creation of a stock variable, and it creates, we will see in the future, competitive advantage. We apply fast, intuitive thinking to co co coordination games, and we apply the rigorous analytical, or slow thinking, as the literature says, into cooperative games. These two axioms are discussed after lunch.